The greetings fellow adventurers, Timberwolf here. Um, and today is gonna be a really special treat. Dying Light, the original. Actually, not the original, um, but rather the DLC, which is the uh, called The Following. So you've seen a bunch of my Dying Light 2 posts. And um, so there are actually a lot of players you know, it, this happens with every franchise, right? From Elder Scrolls to Fallout to Diablo and, of course, Dying Light. Um, there are some people that are big fans of Dying Light 2 that never played the original or the following. And um, so this is for you, uh, mostly, you know, for all you new people, as well as just fans of first-person games in general. And uh, the reason I'm jumping to the following is because even though I, I do have a special place in my heart for Dying Light 1, out of the, out of, you know, when it comes to Dying Light, I really love the following more than anything else. Um, not just because of the really cool dune buggy that you get and get to upgrade with all kinds of cool weapons and stuff, but just because it, um, Dying the following has this sort of this whole, almost like a supernatural atmosphere to it, which is kind of different from Dying Light 1 as well as Dying Light 2, which are more you know, typical government experiment, zombies kind of scenario. Um, the, the following has a, a more of a horror story kind of feel to it. Um, and that, I'm really loving that atmosphere. It's just so pervasive and so good, and I really love it. And, um, and I love the story of the following, you know, that it's just super creepy. And I really love stuff like that. I, there's really nothing else like it out there anywhere. There's even a haunted house which is hidden somewhere in it. So it takes place in a place called the countryside. Um, the basic basic storyline is, is the hero of Dying Light One, Kyle Crane. Um, you know, the, the virus still hasn't been cured yet. And they hear um, a, uh, from a, set, uh, a survivor that comes to the tower that there's a, there's a place where nobody gets sick. And so Kyle's, you know, and is really fascinated by this idea, and he decides to go check it out. And uh, this is how this goes, and um, it's awesome. So hey, let's get into it. I, I haven't played this in so long. Um, I'm hoping that I still have um, a saved character that I can upload, so I'm not like starting off fresh, just because um, <laughs> that would be pretty rough. But anyways, let's go ahead. Let's go to play. Oh, and be the zombie, by the way, I'm not even sure if that's still up and running. That's the multiplayer part of Dying Light, where you can actually um, be a monster and hunt other gamers. Um, pretty cool or pretty scary. Now, you basically, you can have that active while you're playing Dying Light as well as the following, and you'll show up as an active player, and somebody that is the zombie, the, the monster, basically, it's a monster called the Night Hunter, can come after you at some point as long as it's nighttime. However, you can disable that feature in the game, which I usually do because I just don't want to deal with that personally. Some people love it. Um, not my cup of tea. So, following. And, uh, now, awesome. So, I do have a loaded character here, good to go. Um, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click advanced. And I'm going to what mode am I in, by the way? Normal. Okay, cool. So go to advanced. Restart from the way out, and that is, I believe, the uh, the beginning quest, which is where I want to go. Yes. Okay. So this is where Kyle is trying to find this this place here. Now pay attention if you've seen the Dying Light 2 videos, pay attention to the to the music um, in Dying Light the following. It is very different from Dying Light 2. Okay. 
Okay. So right now I'm in the sewers. Also, Dying Light, the, um, the original Dying Light has guns, unlike Dying Light 2. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Um, okay, up is the light, the flashlight. Okay, cool. It's down in the other game, in Dying Light uh, 2. Okay. Even though it's a seven-year-old game, it still looks amazing, right? I ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till I get out to the countryside. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Jump is still jump. Thank you. Oh, can't go up that way. All right. Oh, beautiful. I'm so glad there's water here. Remember me complaining in Dying Light 2 about how the water doesn't splash or act like water? How it looks like, like, jello? Check this out. Um, okay, I didn't expect it to be that deep. Sorry. <laughs> I, was th I was hoping it was a puddle. Um, okay, we'll have to wait until I get out of this cave and maybe uh, there'll be a puddle I can show you or something. Okay, how about right here? Look at this, okay? Huh. I could have sworn wa I could have sworn that water splashed in this game. Well, at least it looks more like water, right? It doesn't look like that that jello gelatin stuff in the original in the sequel, in the Dying Light 2, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Okay. Okay, these are some symbols from the creepy cult that's in this game. We'll find out a little bit more about them later. Lena, do you copy? Grimes, damn it. You're breaking up. Yeah, listen, your one-eyed delirious patient, he was telling the truth. There is a way out. Maybe what he said about people who don't turn is true. He died this morning, Kyle. The fever got him. You're on your own, I'm afraid. Lena? Lena? God, fucking mountains. this grappling hook so much. Can I? Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Also, uh, you just noticed by that note there, hyper mode is on. That means that your melee attacks, as well as unarmed attacks, are going to be super powered. And you're going to be able to send enemies flying. How cool is that? Okay. From here, there's only one way to go. Fishies! Look at them. Cool. And somebody that apparently didn't make the jump. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep going this way. and all that kind of stuff, right? Okay. Um, that's a hunting shack. Those are scattered all over the place. You can find some stuff in them. Some good survival gear and that kind of shit if you can get up there. Healing act. Nice. Okay. All right. So, real quick here, a couple things to note. So, the grappling hook in, in Dying Light is very different from the one in Dying Light 2. The Dying Light 2 grappling light hook acts a lot like a Spider Man web slinging kind of thing, where it just allows you to swing from from like spot to spot so it's useful for the for that for swinging around you know the grappling hook in dying light one as well as the following acts more like batman's grappling hook it can pull you towards things like so okay it can pull you up buildings it can pull you across buildings so instead of swinging you just kind of just zoom and that's it it can also of course pull enemies towards you which is cool um yeah, that's so many people prefer this one over the other one. The other one takes a lot of getting used to. Um, anyway, so so yeah, now this this kind of gives you a big like a, a, like a Walking Dead feel. You know, here's this big open farm like field, and there's just zombies everywhere, right? Okay, place we're looking for is down here now. Another big difference between Dying Light One and Two. Dying Light uh, 1, as, as well as the following, of course, has no fast traveling. So you have to huff it all across the whole map. And the map is massive. It's, it's easily as big as the original game. Um, so that's what's so cool about the dune buggy, though. It helps you get around quicker. We'll, we'll get to that soon enough. Okay. So I got to come down this way. And, uh... This looks occupied. Or less. Uh-oh. Damn it. Crap. Getting obliterated here. Oh, 
Okay, so I was wrong. It looks like for hyper mode, you have to use an unarmed attack, so kicks, for example, or punches, or drop kicks are all allowed, I guess, but not, not melee weapons. Oh, damn. That guy whacked me. Where'd he go? See ya. Look at that. Got revenge. Okay. Fantastic, huh? Oh, you're too big for that, huh? There you go. Bye. Oh, crap. No oh, crap. Oh, man, another big dude. Crazy. I'm out of here. Whew. Okay. What do you want? I need to talk to someone in charge. I'm from Haran. Oh, you a smuggler? Do you work for the crook, huh? Look, I, I don't know anything about any smuggling, pal. I'm here just... I need some help. As for Jasir, but understand this. If you steal anything, you lose your hands. Okay. I've got my eye on you, stranger. Uh huh. Hi, uh, excuse me. I don't know anything. Look, could you just tell me where to find someone who does know something? Look for Jazir. He'll be inside the bar. Inside the barn. This barn? Need something? Are you the one in charge? I need some help. Talk to Jazir. Do you hear me? I forbid it. Here we go. Father, please. Can't we talk no, about this? No, no. End of discussion. Fine. Fight! Esky! Whoa. Wait, Esky! I don't mean to interrupt. I'm looking for Jazir. I am Jazir. But if you want food, we have only bread. No, no, I, I don't need food. Listen, I'm from Haran, and I've come because I've heard that there are people here who are immune to the virus, that they don't turn, even if they get bitten. Oh. And who told you this? A dead man, I'm sorry to say. You might as well keep listening to him. I'll tell you no more than he. Fucking hell, why won't anybody help me? The virus is all over the city. People are dying. And yet, you still live. Take some bread, my friend, and go back to Haran. No one wants you here. Lena, this is Crane. Do you copy? Damn it, what a fucking wasteland. Hey, yeah, you. Come here. Come on, come closer. I won't bite you. Don't worry. I ain't like the rest of these loonies. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you nut jobs. So you're not one of them? Why aren't they trying to run you off? Because I sell more shit than just bread. My name's Khan, by the way. Kyle Crane. Hey, you're from Haran, right? But you ran into my optical challenge buddy. You mean the guy with an eye missing? Yeah, that's the one. My boy, Kurt. How's he doing? Oh, uh, he, uh... Yeah, he, he didn't make it. Well, I 
That's a damn shame. But, can't say I'm surprised. Maybe you can help me. Kurt said the people out here are immune to the virus. You know anything about that? Uh, now that you mention it, I don't remember any of the locals actually turning. Fucking wackos. They're in a damn cult. Led by some woman they called the mother. Used to be just a harmless local tradition, you know? They weren't serious about it. Well, they're goddamn serious these days. Ever since the outbreak. They scribble symbols everywhere. Do these fucking rituals. I think they even pray to her. Hey, but what about this whole not turning thing? They on Antizen or what? Listen. I'm short a man now, and since I'm an entrepreneur, let's do business. Partner up, you and me. Buying anything, friend? Freaks. Not a partnership you have in mind. Well, you need some information, and thanks to Kurt getting himself deceased, I need a driver with brains. I can show you something that might help you out, but we'll need to get some wheels first. You want a vehicle out here? Where am I supposed to find that? I'd look around the nearest farm, I were you. And hey, be discreet about it, all right? Okay. So let's look at the map. So this little circle is indicating where this mission is destined to go or where we need to go in next okay we'll circle on the main map here we go no damn it I swear to god water splashed in this game I'm gonna keep looking maybe it's not until I actually fix the water pumps that it happens I don't know I don't know I'm telling you look at that though I mean, this this is this is incredible. Even seven year old game, it looks amazing. Um, you know what? I need to hold on. I need to have something better than this. Uh, shotgun here, two shot shotgun. Um, not sure what that is. It's been so long. I don't know what any of this stuff is. That thing is very cool, but um, mm, it might be okay, I guess. Um, or Dawn Light. Vulcan Combat Rifle. Okay. <laughs> Extraterrestrial chicken on a stick. Um, can't access your weapons while you're in there. Keep coming. <laughs> At least they can't get me from up here. I have to go this way. So let's stay on the pipes. What the? What the what? Well, other than like this place surrounding being surrounded by zombies, I mean, it's kind of just how it is now. 
once you get your your buggy, you can you can siphon gas from abandoned vehicles, which is cool. I use the train tracks as a navigational point. They're coming after me. Yikes. There we go. Oh, forgot to tell you. If you ain't got none, find yourself some weapons. The farm's a bandit outpost. Wait, what? You, you forgot to tell me this? Well, they weren't important at the moment. Fucking fleas, you just can't get rid of them. No structure, no boss, no knack for business. <laughs> Sounds like we're off to a good start. Ah, don't be a drama queen. You can handle them. Listen, I gotta deal with some customers. Just give me a sign once you got the car. Now notice um, how this train, uh, this 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 train car is moving, and it sounds like there's like a monster in there. That's what they call an Easter egg in the game. There's lots of them at Dying Light. Um, this is referring to that um, kind of a sci-fi slash horror film, Super Eight, where there was a monster in the train car. It's pretty cool, huh? place I just love this the setting here is just so different and all the ooga booga type stuff love it there's another hunting cabin they show up on the map once you find them okay Take this guy out. See ya. Uh, too far away for that one. Anybody else close by? Uh, nope. Gotta be more than just those guys, though. Cool thing is, is with the grappling hook that in, is in this game. Now, and in, in, obviously in Dying Light 2, we have the paraglider. Here, you don't have that, so don't just jump off of heights. Use the grappling hook. You jump up, use the grappling hook, and it'll take you down safely. Exactly how the physics of that works, I have no idea, but it's what it's what we do. Trying to make sure I get all the all the bad guys. Oops. Everybody's done. I guess. So here's the buggy. And there's a lot of different skins to out upgrade this buggy, by the way. Um, go to customize, police paint job, 
all these paint jobs, most of them um, you can find out in the world. There are some that you buy um, in the in the game, um, in the store, but a lot of these are ones that you just find out there. Like the DLC paint jobs, I think those are ones that you have to download. Some of these are really, really cool. That's one of my favorites, the Wasteland Cruiser. Interesting. V39 Star Rover. Let's do that one. Doesn't look like much yet because um, we have to upgrade the car. And you do that by... Um, there's different challenges you can do. All right, here we go. I know we just crashed right through this wall, right? Bam, yep. Oops. There we go. Careful, watch out for these, these barrels. There's uh, liquid in them that makes everything slippery. Cones, uh, am I supposed to be going here? I just, I guess I just gotta, uh, crap, I can't go that way. I can't go that way because the pipes, oh, here we go. There's a break in there. Sweet, oh yeah, here we go. This is the spot that you... I don't get out of it now. Hold triangle, okay, cool. Shit out here, though, huh? Ah, oh, there's the goth girl. You're looking for Khan? He's gone. I guess they finally asked him to leave. Asked him to leave, huh? And what, at gunpoint? And who's they? They finally did what my father should have done a long time ago. And it suddenly got really nice and quiet around here, didn't it? You didn't answer my question. Of course I didn't. You're here for the same reason he was. Same reason the bandits won't leave us alone. And we're supposed to trust you? There's gotta be something I can do to convince you. You don't have to convince me. I don't care. Show everyone else you're here to give, not just to take. And I'm Eski, by the way. Kyle Crane, Eski. Can you give me some hints, at least? W w what do you guys need? I suppose I could help you out. Just remember, you'll have to return the favor one day. You got it. The groundwaters got polluted a while back. Imagine what would happen if you got our water running again. I assume there is a way to do this? Yes, there is. But it's in banded territory. Several men who volunteered to go there, well, they never came back. So I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you have a death wish. If you do, then just follow the pipeline. All right. So we got our first mission, major mission, um, which is to bring water to the place. So anyways, I think that's a good... Um, pretty good uh, starter there to kind of give you an idea what this game's like. Um, however, before uh, I 
shine out for the da for the for the time being. Let me just show you what happens at night. <laughs> Can't sleep now. Oh, okay. I guess we'll have to do that some other time. I guess I have to complete this mission first in order to uh, be able to do that. But um, running out of time on the recording, so I'll call it. Gonna have to call it quits for now. But um, yeah. So by the way. Um, can't use the grappling hook here either. <laughs> what else? Um, real quick here. Inventory. Blueprints. Skills. This is all the legend level stuff. Rank. The rank um, here, this basically you earn points um, basically by doing things for completing missions for the people here so this will um, your level of trust the higher your level of trust the deeper you get into the inner circle so so to speak okay um, and of course you got quests Yeah, that's what I want to tell you. Um, another thing is, just like in the other in Dying Light 2, you got your stash. This is also where you can change outfits. Now, unlike Dying Light 2, um, you can't do mix and matching here. You can just change. You gotta. You go. You can only do complete skins. Um, so that's one of the things Dying Light 2 did that was really cool, where you could choose like a. A, a top from one thing and boots from another thing and really kind of really customize your character whereas here you can only choose a, a full outfit um, so and it, there are just like any other one they are completely cosmetics only so there's really no special um, use to any of them Um, I think this is the one I'm wearing, the V9 Defender suit, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But, you know, there's there's a lot of cool different outfits, nonetheless. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, and, again, just like the skins for the, for the car, um, some of them are in DLC packs. Whereas others, you can earn um, in the game for, for completing certain types of challenges, you know, certain types of rewards. Also, some are just given to you as you level up. The higher your level, um, you'll have access to, to new, new skins as well. So, And again, you, like I said, you find those in your stash. Okay, and that's also where, of course, you store all your extra weapons and stuff. So... And, uh, yeah. I suppose before I go, let me just show you what it's like to, to fire. You saw the shotgun, the two-shotty. Um, let me just show you what, what happens with this, uh, with this automatic here. Now, granted, the, the disadvantage of firearms is that enemies will hear you. Virals will just come screaming and running at you because you're making noise. And um, at night, the uh, the volatiles come out just like in Dying Light 2, and they hear you and they'll come find you. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. Uh. But it's so much fun. Right? Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, I missed this. I really missed this. Just exploding guts. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm almost out of ammo though. So. Okay, but that, how cool was that, you know? Alright. Well, appreciate you joining me here and uh, check it out. I'll be playing this for a little while now. Um, and uh, let's see, you know, I'll do another video soon showing you some, uh, some tricks I have to. Uh, upgrading a car um, that might be the next video or it might not something else I might we might be doing next um, by the way if you're looking for fuel just go to a, uh, you know an abandoned vehicle like this and find the gas uh, gas cap and just search and they don't always have fuel just to remember uh, oh crap bad zombies Smack, smackety smack with the chicken. Whoa, crap. Scared me. All right, you know what? Real quick. Um, inventory. I wish. Now what that is? I think that's something from uh, Hell Raid. Do I have the blueprints to make chickens chicken on sticks? I know I've got blueprints for that, so. I'm going to hit R3 to drop that. Good. That gives me an empty. What the flip? So I'm not sure how to how to switch to unarmed, how to switch to fists only here. I'll have to look into that because I want to start sending guys flying, of course, so I can get my points up there. Um, I'll have to look into that. But uh, appreciate you tuning in, um, and until the next adventure. <laughs>